Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Balls review of another Fred and Friends product. So I've reviewed a lot of Fred and Friends products. They always seem to be pretty good. I like the whole design packaging, but this is based off the Scream, the uh, art. Alexa, what is the Scream painting? So let's just hear this. Scream painting is painting on window screens. Uh, what is the Scream art? Hmm. I don't know that one. Because you just knew it. What is the Scream art painting? Here's something I found from the article Norwegian Art on Wikipedia. Norway's most famous artist is certainly Edvard Munch, a symbolist slash expressionist who became world famous for the Scream, one of the most recognizable paintings in all art. Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. All right, so yeah, so there we go. Feeling a little bit anxious, some people swear that the good old Primal Scream is all you need. We have a better idea. Release a few of our ice creams into your beverage of choice and reveal in, or revel in the relaxation. Each dishwasher safe silicon tray includes 12 expression renderings of Edvard Munch's, or Munch, the Scream. All right, so let's open it up, see what's inside here. And yeah, look at this, so nice silicon. Uh, ice tray has a little logo, the Fred logo. So, you know, I, I always think they just, as far as their marketing goes, I always think they do a good job, Fred and Friends, or Fred. I think it's just short for Fred now. Um, if you haven't checked out their products, uh, you can actually go to my YouTube influencer store that's in the description. So definitely check that out. You can see past uh, Fred and Friends products that I've reviewed on this channel. But this is a cool idea for Halloween. I could definitely see this being, you know, it's, it's a cool take on, uh, you know, like a skull or something like that. So yeah, let's put this in the freezer and uh, check it out when it comes out. See what they look like. Does it work? And just put it in this in the freezer right now. Very hard not to spill with this. I think I overfilled them a little bit. All right, yeah, I gotta clean up my fridge, or freezer. All right, so it's been about six hours since I put the uh, ice cubes in the freezer, and so I'm gonna take them out here and see what they look like. And yeah, look at that ice cube tray. Completely frozen. And let's pop them out. So, look at that. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like it. The picture. But yeah, these are really... Oh, this one's better. Look at that one. But yeah, one thing I'm noticing that's really easy to pop these out of the ice cube tray, easier than actually most ice cube trays I've used. So you can not, um, you don't, you don't have to use these for ice cubes. You can use them for like chocolate. They're, these work great for chocolate. Just use it as a chocolate mold. But yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. And I've reviewed a lot of these like silicon molds on this channel before, and this is you know right up there. So I would say if you can find this for, mm, I wouldn't spend more than ten dollars on this. If you can find it for ten dollars or less, and you're interested in a fun kind of Halloween themed maybe uh, product, silicon mold product, uh, you can make chocolate for a Halloween party, something like that, or you know ice cubes for a Halloween party. Um, I would think it's a pretty cool item. So it's by Fred and Friends. And yeah, let me know what you think. Leave in the comment section, would you get this? Uh, what's your favorite ice cube tray if you have one? And uh, once again, please subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to support my content, go to patreon.com slash nine malls. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can become a Facebook fan. Uh, it's in the description, so definitely check that out. And until next time, I'll see you later.